Hello and welcome to another Shirley Park update. Just going to be giving you some quick information today about some of the course conditions that I'm sure you're frustrated with and experiencing right now. So first of all, I share all your frustrations purely down to the simple fact that I and my team have eyes. So if you're seeing and experiencing frustrations, we can see this. I, I keep looking down here because I'm going to show you something in a minute. So we're on the first fairway and the conditions that I'm going to be showing you and mainly talking about is grass growth and I just want to trace all your minds backwards to three weeks ago the end of March if you watch my YouTube videos the previous video was a weather update showing a foot of water and the video before that called weather and general update was particularly focused on growing conditions now three weeks ago I state in that video that we were going to be incurring 16 degrees. Now, since those three weeks ago, that 16 degrees hasn't dropped. That's been every day almost for the last three weeks. The weekend just gone, we had 20 degrees. The whole time, apart from the weekend gone, we've had rain as well. And also mentioned in that video was how warm conditions will cause growth, but with rain, we can't cut anything because it would just damage the surface. So with no further ado, I'm just going to show you now the first fairway, um, just before we do, in, also in that video, I made not a half joke, but I knew it could happen. I, I said, you know, if we don't try and do something on the gravel nine, then the fairways will become rough. So I'm just going to get my cameraman to show you this on the first fairway. That's the height of my hand. This grass is three to four inches long. All the way across so I appreciate that I appreciate that the fairways are rough height and unfortunately there's nothing I can do about that that is what I predicted three weeks ago with rain and warm temperatures creating growth and I knew then that I would start to worry and I'm still worried and I'm sure all of you are um, you know becoming a little bit restless I completely understand because we should be into spring but unfortunately these are the cards that I've been dealt and you guys have been dealt so just to follow up if we try and cut this fairway today I just want to show you, this is the first this is a wet bit on the first here so if I get my cameraman to come down that is the first fairway if we keep walking Look. So I weigh about 13 stone. If you imagine our fairway mower behind me, just over here, is 1.7 tonnes. That's nearly two tonnes. We can't get this cut without causing ruts and damage that will last you the whole year. And then your fairways become uneven and irreparable because the ground dries and they stay there like baked hard clumps. Now I'm going to get my cameraman to run kind of <laughs> quickly with me we've got the semi rough mower here so we're now going to cut the fairways that should be at 15 mils at 25 is that right yeah about 25 25 mil now so over an inch just to knock the height down for me to do it again on the fairway mower behind although this one we won't be able to now the trouble with that is that's taken two staff to mow fairways so when we're not mowing fairways, or if we weren't doing that, that other member of staff isn't getting the bunkers done. He's not getting the green sprayed. He's not getting the debris picked up off the woodland. So we have to get on top of this growth, but it's coming at the sacrifice of the bunkers. Unfortunately, sand doesn't grow. So the bunkers are going to have to wait. If we can just focus down here, this is from a trolley today and some footprint. You can see, look at the water here. So I know this is just one fairway. This is what happens if you do try and mow. You can hopefully see that on the camera. That is, as my old boss taught me, that's forcing it. That's going, we need to try it. We need to try something. They, they've got to do something. That's what happens. And that's very unsightly that no one wants. So I will give you a little update on this or a part two video of a drier fairway but before I do that if you can trace your I, I, I 
plead with you all to go back two videos ago and watch that video because on that video I state that on the gravel nine, the driest part of the course, the fourth fairway that I was on, sorry no, the eighth fairway I was stood on, was worm casty and muddy because of the conditions three weeks ago. We've had three dry days and this is what I'm dealt with after 20 degrees and three dry days. And I know from my experience here that Shirley Park needs about 10 days, really. We can start making a bit more of an impact after five, but we need 10 days to really start getting some mowing done. So I share your frustrations. Please bear with us. We are doing all we can. We are trying to get some cutting done. We are getting the fairways done and the bunkers will be edged soon. So we're getting some positives done, but unfortunately I can only do what I can do in these conditions. So thanks for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe.